I would say it was like, how am I making a difference in the world? But I think that I don't, I, I certainly don't think that every day. Um, I think that it's, that's, a, that's a hindsight question, that's a retrospective question. That's where like history is very, 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 very kind to us. Um, if I could share someone else's story, when I first got to New Mexico, I got to sit on a panel for Black History Month with um, Elaine Brown. She was the only woman ever to chair the Black Panther Party. I was like a floor that was like, it's like meeting one of your idols, right? I was like a 14 year old girl just meeting Justin Bieber. I was like kind of passing. I got to sit right next to her, right? And, and I remember one of the things she said when she got up to the podium was that, you know, she's like, you know, we are, history's been really kind to the Black Panther Party. You know, we look back on our legacy and what we've done. And you know, she's like, we're all old now. She's like, but, make no mistakes about it, because she was talking to an audience of college students. She's like, make no mistakes about it. When we were doing what we were doing, and you know, Fred Hampton, Huey Newton, and all these cats, we were teenagers. She was like, we were 18, 19, 20. We were just trying to protect our neighborhood. Like it was, we didn't, at that time, we weren't like, how are we gonna create this historic political party? They were like, we just wanted them, the cops to stop kicking our ass in the neighborhood, and then, 20, 30, 40, 50 years later, history has put us on this pedestal and in this book. And so that always stuck with me. Like, I think now as, as young organizers and activists, we are all, every day we're like, man, I'm gonna change the world, I'm gonna change the world, I'm gonna change the world. And when we think back to the people who really did that, that wasn't like their daily mantra. Their daily mantra was just solve the problems around you, love the people around you. And if we do that right, then 50 years from now, somebody will be sitting across from an interview like this talking about us.